रेडी थ्री टू वन गो टूडे आर्ट लेक्चर इज अबाउट अ मैगजम विच इज द बेसिस ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ टॉट द मैगजम इज यू बी जेस एबी गैड मीडियम इट इज अ लेटर मैगजम based on which the whole the foundation of law of thought just means legal authority to do or to demand anything to do remedium means guide of action meaning thereby there is no wrong without a remedy actually its uh, historical background is that that the lord chancellor mark a very leading case that become the basis of the law courts he said by this maxim letter maxim the whole law of tort is based now just it through that maxim he got the power to intervene the administration of justice to do give the relief that relief that is not given at that time by the ordinary courts focus please condition where that uh, maxim will not apply there is only two conditions where that maxim you be just any remedy will not apply first is if the party who has involved the court has destroyed Lost, waived through these mediums. If he has destroyed the evidence, has lost his evidence, or at that time when the cause of action and that uh, peculiar matter was raised and its effect came to his knowledge and he waived it. If he has waived it, he cannot claim afterwards. A gentleman once said. Sorry, and well, other gentlemen accepted. After that, that gentleman who has court given him will not go to the court of justice or court of equity, especially to the court of equity, because the court of equity is based on consciousness, inner your inner feelings, your inner soul. If you want a Has forgiven somebody, and afterward you again uh, want to draw him to the court of law. What is the gentleman doing? So, first, if a party destroyed the evidence, lost or waived his right to an equitable remedy by his own act, not by his agent. If then he is done by his uh, other agent, then in that case, that person will invoke. Can invoke the court of equity. And second situation is moral infringement being incapable of enforcement. Moral infringement being incapable of enforcement. Limitation where right and remedy is both are within the jurisdiction of common law. First of all, you will have to go to the common ordinary courts if they. didn't or they don't give you the relief then you can go to the court of equity for that special law second is when the courts are not authorized to question the act of state if uh, the courts the courts to which you have invoked doesn't has the uh, jurisdiction or the capacity and it is uh, binding due to the act of the state then this maxim will not apply for example if you suit against the sovereign some sovereign state prince against some royal family or you suit against some diplomat they are covered by diplomatic immunity whether it is the envoy or representative of un or european union or this and that 
you can't go to your court of law against that person if he does some act in his that capacity of diplomat if he is a diplomat he is a sovereign or the part of a sovereign you cannot uh, go against that person that diplomat that uh, representative that uh, ambassador against uh, in uh, especially in civil cases you can't uh, institute a suit against that diplomat he has a diplomatic immunity then what is the position of in pakistan about that maxim maxim applicable in pakistan especially when you there is a law that is called specific relief act specific relief act in that act you have to study section 52 53 51 in that there and other is cpc civil procedure code 1908 and that the civil court and power civil courts to entertain all kinds of suits unless they are prohibited that is the brief uh, intro we will discuss it later on thank you